Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of HVAC Education Hub channel. In this episode, we'll try to explain what are the differences between hydraulic setup and heat pump. There is a never-ending debate if it is good to put buffer in heat pump system or no. So in this episode, we will explain differences between this setup. So first setup is completely direct system. So basically from heat pump, circulation pump is pumping water through your underfloor system or radiators. And this is the best setup for most efficient system, for most efficient system for heat pump and also for COP. However, there are other hydraulic setups. For example, if you put buffer like a hydraulic switch, so four pipe buffer, in that case, you have primary circuit from heat pump and circulation pump. This is primary circuit. Secondary is secondary pumps. If it is one zone, it is one pump, or if you have two zones or more than two zones. Uh, this setup is recommended if you have a few different zones with few different temperatures. For example, you have fan coils and underfloor heating. In this case, you will have more zones and buffer will be recommended. However, there is also third setup. In this setup, buffer is like a volumizer. So it is only installed in return circuits. So on two pipes, this is mainly so you can have big water volume if your zones are not open. For example, you have underfloor heating and you have thermostats and motor valves on your circuits. When your circuits are closed, you need still some amount of water and some energy for your heat pump to do defrost or to have minimum volume and volume flow rate. In this case, buffer on return is recommended. There is never ending debate. What is the best way? what is the best approach, and there are different, different opinions about that. We will try to explain not only by theory, but by examples uh, with site visits, with some analysis to see what is the best, the best solution. If you have direct system and you don't have buffer, even like a volumizer, you need to take care that your system is open loop system. So you need all zones open. In that case, your zones are big buffer tank. This is uh, mostly important if you have fan coils because fan ho coils, they have bigger pressure drop, lower volume, lower water volume. In that case, you will probably need buffer tank, even like a hydraulic separator or on return switch, especially in cooling because cooling is slightly different and unit is going on low temperature. So you need big, big water volume. This is only introduction. What are the main, the three main uh, hydraulic uh, schemes? And in some of the next episodes, we will try to go deeper in each scheme with analysis, with site visits. So we can show what is the most efficient way and what is the best way for your system to work. Thank you for watching, hit subscribe button and see you in next episode.